Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to the fourth part of this series. So in the previous video we have created uh, all animations which we need for our home fragment and as you can see when we press this uh, generate button we're going to trigger uh, all animations from the previous video. Okay, so as you can see it looks uh, very nice and after those animations are completed uh, then we're going to navigate to our uh, success fragment right here. And uh, in this video I'm going to create uh, transition animations so that uh, when we navigate from our home fragment to our success fragment uh, we can see some uh, transition animations as well. So uh, in this video I'm not going to explain much about uh, transition animations because uh, I have already made a video on uh, my YouTube channel about that and uh, I highly suggest you to watch that video before you continue watching this one. So now, before I actually start creating some uh, transition animations, I need to uh, fix a few things. So the first thing which we need to fix is uh, inside our fragment home layout. So let's scroll down below until we find our uh, plain text uh, edit text. So as you can see, I have set the layout height to a fixed value of uh, 150 dp. And I'm going to change that to uh, wrap content. Okay. And uh, I also need to add uh, one more uh, attribute here named the lines. And here I need to set number 6, okay? So our edit text will have the height of uh, 6 lines of text. And now basically uh, we don't need to hard code the exact value for our uh, layout height attribute right here. Okay, so now uh, when we get back to our home fragment and when we start typing here, uh, you will see that our uh, letters have this uh, black color and we need to change that. So I'm going to add one more attribute right here and that is a text color. So I need to add the white color for the text and let's run our app to see if uh, that's gonna change. Okay, so now when we start typing we're going to see a white uh, color on our text so that's fixed okay so now that we have fixed that uh, we need to fix uh, one more thing inside our uh, home fragment okay so now let's scroll down below and uh, you will see that uh, in the previous videos uh, I have uh, overrided this uh, on destroy method and inside that method I have set this uh, underscore binding variable to null but we need to change that so instead of overriding this uh, on destroy method we need to override on destroy view instead because this is a fragment life cycle so i'm going to cut this line of code and i'm going to remove this uh, on destroy and i'm going to uh, override a different method so let's search for on destroy view okay and here we need to pass this uh, uh, underscore binding to null okay so now we have uh, fixed that as well and uh, there is uh, one more thing which we need to fix uh, before continuing creating this uh, transition animation so let me show you that uh, inside our android emulator so let's run the app again and uh, basically uh, when we click on our uh, generate button we're going to trigger our animations and our views here will disappear. But the fact is that when we click this generate button, our generate button will disappear just uh, visually, but still it will be here. So for example, when I click this uh, generate button and click this uh, generate button right here uh, multiple times, you're going to get uh, an error and our application will crash. And that's because uh, our uh, generate button is still here and we're trying to, uh, to navigate to our success fragment multiple times and that's why we're getting this uh, error. So as you can see, uh, we're getting this uh, null pointer exception and, uh, and basically we're going to fix that uh, very easily. So the only thing which we need to do here is uh, inside our apply animations function, so inside this function, on top of that function, we need to call binding.generate button and I need to set this uh, function or uh, variable is uh, clickable to false, okay? So now let's run our app again and now whenever we uh, press on our generate button when it disappears then our application will not crash. So let's check that out again and uh, click uh, generate button then uh, I can click multiple times here and uh, nothing will happen. So error uh, will not appear and our application will not crash. So now we have fixed uh, that uh, bug as well and we can proceed to create uh, some transition animations. Okay, so the first thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to open this uh, resource manager and I'm going to find here, uh, let me see, animation. Okay, so here it is. And inside this animation tab, I'm going to create a new animation resource file. And here I'm going to create uh, four different uh, animation transition animation files. So the first file uh, will be named uh, from bottom because here I'm going to create uh, an animation where our screen will come from the bottom. So let's uh, click OK and now let's create that animation. So here I'm going to use this uh, translate uh, element and I'm going to type uh, from Y delta to Y delta because uh, we are using a Y axis and uh, that's how we are able to move our uh, screen from the bottom to the top or basically from the bottom to the center of our screen. So here I'm going to choose first uh, from Y delta and here I'm going to type uh, 100%. Okay. 
and uh, two y delta uh, will be zero percent okay and here i also need to specify uh, duration so android duration and the duration can be 600 milliseconds okay so let's close that tag now and now i'm going to open this uh, my graph or our navigation graph and now i'm going to select this action which is pointing from our home fragment to the success fragment and here is the enter animation i'm going to select that animation which we have just created so let's click that and let's select this animation from the bottom click ok so we are specifying that animation from bottom inside this uh, enter animation field because uh, when we navigate from our home fragment to our success fragment then this success fragment uh, is basically entering our screen and now let's check that out and see if that's gonna work uh, as expected so basically now when we navigate uh, from our home fragment to our success fragment then our success fragment uh, should come from the bottom so let's check that out Okay, so now you can see that uh, our success fragment uh, basically came from the bottom. And uh, I also just want to change the background color of our success fragment so we can actually see it more uh, clearly. So let's just uh, open this uh, layout and uh, fragment success. Okay, so here I'm going to remove this uh, text view. I'm going to add here a uh, constraint layout. And here I'm going to specify a uh, background. So color dark. Okay. And now let's run our app again so we can see our transition animation uh, more clearly. Okay, so click generate. And now uh, our success fragment will come from the bottom, okay? So it's working perfectly fine. And now we need to specify this um, exit animation. So basically when our success fragment uh, comes in, we are applying uh, enter animation to our success fragment. But also we need to apply exit animation for our home fragment, okay? So now let's create a new... Uh, animation resource file inside our uh, anim directory here okay so uh, this file uh, should be named uh, to top because we're going to move our uh, home fragment to the top when uh, our success fragment uh, comes in okay so to top click ok and here i'm going to basically copy this uh, code from earlier and just change few values okay so let's just uh, paste this code and just uh, change few values. So now uh, from y delta will be 0% and uh, to y delta will be uh, minus 100% because uh, we are uh, moving our uh, home fragment uh, from the center of the screen to uh, the top. And again, if you're confused about those transition animations, then I highly suggest you to watch my uh, video tutorial on YouTube about uh, that specific topic. Okay, so now let's go to our uh, navigation graph and here let's apply this uh, exit animation. So let's select uh, to top, okay, here it is. And let's run our app again. Okay, so now let's click uh, generate and now you will see that our uh, home fragment will basically leave on the top and our new fragment will come from the bottom. Okay, so as you can see now that animation works uh, perfectly fine. And there are only two more uh, transition animations which we need to create. So basically when I click this uh, back arrow, there uh, will be no any transition animation. So as you can see here, and we need to specify those uh, two last uh, transition animations inside those uh, two last fields pop enter and pop exit animations so this uh, pop enter animation uh, will be applied to our home fragment when we get back from our success fragment to our home fragment and this uh, pop exit animation will be applied to our success fragment when we leave it okay and now let's create uh, two more animations so uh, this one should be named uh, from top okay I'm going to paste basically the same code from before and just uh, change few values. So now this time for those uh, last two animations, I'm going to uh, decrease this duration to 400 milliseconds. And uh, here I'm going to set uh, from Y delta to minus 100% to Y delta to zero. And now let's uh, apply that animation to our navigation graph. So pop enter and let's choose this uh, from top, click OK. Now let's run our app again and you will see that now our uh, home fragment uh, will come uh, from the top when we get back from our success fragment. Okay, so now when we click this uh, back arrow, you will see that our uh, home fragment uh, will come from the top. Okay, so as you can see, it works uh, perfectly fine. And finally, we need to create a uh, last animation here. Okay, so the last animation should be named uh, to bottom. So this animation will be applied to our success fragment when we actually leave our success fragment. Okay, so let's just paste that code from earlier. Uh, here we're going to change duration to 400 milliseconds. So here uh, type uh, 0 from y delta 0 and to y delta 100. Okay, so let's get back to our uh, navigation graph. And here inside our pop exit, let's uh, specify that animation. 
So tool bottom, click OK. And let's run our app again. OK, so let's navigate to our success fragment. OK, so now uh, when we get back from our success fragment to our home fragment, uh, you will see that our home fragment will come from the top and our success fragment will basically leave uh, to the bottom. So let's try that. And as you can see, our home fragment basically came from the top and our success fragment left on the bottom. So now we have completed all our transition animations and when we combine them with our uh, home fragment uh, view animations, it looks uh, very nice. So let's check that out again. So as you can see, all our animations uh, works uh, perfectly fine. And uh, in the next video, we're going to actually implement some logic to actually hash some uh, text using those uh, specified uh, algorithms. And uh, that will be all for this video.